Hi everyone, this is Tholin with another video and this time we continue with our Pokemon Anniversary series of videos. Now this time we have a Japanese product which is a Japanese Sword and Shield Zamasenda tin box. Now this is a product that uh, was not released in English, uh, it was only released in Japan and it features some contents based on the actual Sword and Shield uh, set, the Japanese set uh, from the Pokemon trading card game. Now uh, this product is unique because as I said you cannot find it elsewhere, it's only available in Japan, uh, however it is commonly uh, and widely available through eBay and through other retailers, you can uh, get it, but it is a nice deviation from the typical um, English or American uh, versions of the uh, Pokemon trading card game and here is the outer, uh, let's say, carton uh, that includes the box. On the uh, top of the tin box you can find the, bo the two legendaries from this set and on the inside, I'm opening uh, right now, you can find uh, this, uh, the contents uh, of the box. I'm going to remove this uh, carton tray inside and this is a nice uh, tin box that you can use to store your cards. Uh, on the inside you can uh, find a pack of some uh, promo uh, Japanese cards, some foil ones. Uh, this is standard across uh, every um, release of this uh, tin. Uh, as you can see, uh, the back of the cards represent the typical uh, Japanese promo. And uh, it also includes a small poster that shows what are included in this uh, tin box. Uh, you will find on the bottom the actual uh, foil cards and on the back it's uh, the uh, boosters that you can find. This is a nice set, uh, the Sword and Shield set uh, coincided with the release of the uh, Pokemon video game with the same name and you will find six uh, Japanese boosters inside. Now the difference here is that the Japanese boosters include uh, five cards each and we have six of them. We have one colored with a sword uh, theme and the other three colored with a sealed one. We are going to uh, start opening those boosters, uh, picking up uh, one of each and we will begin with the first one. As I said, you will find uh, five cards in each of those uh, boosters uh, when compared to the 11 ones that you will find in the Western releases of the Pokemon trading card game. Now, uh, the card trick is a bit uh, weird here, so we're not going to use one. I'm going to uh, go straight to the cards and these are the common ones. And this is the first we got, which is a very nice one. It's a Sableye. Uh, Pokemon, nice artwork there and on the back you can find the difference as you can see it's a difference uh, back uh, on, the, on those cards it doesn't have the same back as the western version of the Pokemon trading card game so we're going to put that aside and move on to our second booster we will pick one from the other pile of the boosters, the blue themed one uh, for our second booster. And as we saw in the previous one, there is uh, one uh, extra card after the rare one. So uh, we can use that uh, to uh, have the correct uh, card trick uh, from now on. So I'm going to open that and then I'm going to put the last card um, from the back to the front in order to see uh, the rare card uh, first. So I'm going to do that right now and let's go right ahead to, op to checking the uh, cards we got. These are the common ones, nice artwork there, some beautiful cards uh, on those um, Japanese uh, releases. Now this is the uh, V card that we got which is a very nice uh, artwork again. I believe the overall quality of the Japanese uh, trading card game is a bit better when compared to the western one. You, you will not find a lot of misprints, you will not find a lot of uh, wrong centering. Usually the centering is uh, nice and there are no um, printing lines on the actual foils. Now we're moving uh, to a rare one which is this one. 
a nice card, non-foil one, but we got um, two V cards in the first two boosters, so that was uh, quite a good um, pull so far. Moving on to the uh, fourth uh, booster, I'm going to uh, have uh, the same uh, card trick here, taking one from the back and putting it to the front. So let's go uh, straight ahead. Um, nice artwork here. This is a Grookey, uh, the typical uh, one of the typical starters for this uh, generation. And we are moving to the rare one, which is this trainer card. I'm going to put those aside and then we have two last boosters to complete the opening of this uh, Japanese Zamasenda tin box. Those uh, Japanese re releases are good for every collector in order to uh, have a look on how uh, this Pokemon trading card game progresses uh, in its birthplace which is Japan. Uh, so we are going to have a look at what cards we got here uh, those are some of the common ones most of them are also available at the western release and this is a Cooper Raja which is the rare card for this booster a beautiful Pokemon here so uh, moving on to the last of our boosters let's see uh, how this set closes for us I am pretty satisfied with the um, pulls so far so let's go ahead and put the last card to the front uh, this is the evolution uh, of uh, Grookey uh, some more common cards and the last good card let's say we got is another trainer card this is a nice artwork there so uh, all in all those are the uh, good the some v cards we got and some more rare cards that we uh, pulled from those boosters let's isolate those four which are the best ones uh, pretty satisfied with uh, this uh, tin box i am going to use it also to store my pokemon cards inside um, so everyone, if you enjoyed the video, please thumb up and subscribe to the channel. We have more Pokemon uh, content coming soon and also a lot of gaming and emulation videos that you can enjoy. Thank you all for watching.